what's going on guys in today's video it's still raining in california we'll break down when the faucet finally shuts off and then talk about how much rain and snow are still to come until that happens now these same systems are going to parade across the country bringing rain just a little bit of snow but then also the chance for severe weather to parts of the south and it's actually in the south that this system is going to pull in some colder air one of the only spots in the country where we are talking about being way below normal. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and if you're new here, we talk and track all things weather. We are starting this on the national level here, looking at the system that has been pounding California and Nevada on Tuesday. There it is with the rain and snow and blue and green moving through. If you are looking for the extended update on California and those atmospheric rivers, I have the time codes listed below in the chapters so you can fast forward to that. I don't want to waste your time if you're looking for something different here in this video so feel free to skip ahead although i would like it if you watch the whole thing anyway this little system here is going to kind of dive through the plains kind of wind up and strengthen a little bit and then move through the great lakes and again this had been one of the systems pounding california over the past few days watch what happens here so we're getting into thursday or wednesday afternoon into thursday there's the snow on the backside, a very narrow strip so places like kansas city I think we could get a couple of inches of snow by Thursday. Here is our developing low pressure center. Then this continues to lift back up towards the Great Lakes. My snow lovers, you're going to notice one thing here. There's not a lot of blue on this map. We're going to come back to this system in just one second, but don't get too excited. There is some cold coming our way, though. If you happen to be finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Here we go. I want to show you a closer rendition of the snow on Wednesday into Thursday in the plains. This is now going to be 8 a.m. local time and then kind of moving forward here throughout the course of the day so this is going to be in the evening time about 6 p.m and we still have some light to moderate snow in north platte rain changing to snow in hastings on wednesday evening and then in and around northwest kansas goodland kansas we are seeing some of that snow as well there's going to be the opportunity for some banding features you kind of see the darker blues showing up in and around hastings that's where we could get some isolated higher than expected amounts i know the snowfall forecasts out here aren't that high and for the most part i think that's good but i'm going to show you what i'm talking about in just one second i think there's a shot for some sneaky heavier snow than what's forecast so going forward here note all of that kind of consolidate towards st joseph missouri kansas city missouri and then getting into topeka kansas as well that's going to be on thursday in terms of how much, again, we're not talking about a whole lot on a widespread scale. There's a narrow stripe here of about one to three inches of snow. Southern Nebraska, northern Kansas, southern Iowa, northwest Missouri. That includes Kansas City. Again, right about there. You see that bullseye has about three inches. Pretty decent shot here to get a little bit more of the way the atmospheric dynamics are setting up, especially right in here. You see that little purple bullseye there that's the model thinking six inches of snow now that may be too high but the point i'm trying to make is right in here i think we can overachieve a little bit in terms of that current snowfall forecast so just keep that in mind for you one of the things that is going to be happening as well is this system that is going to bring that little flare up of snow if you will into the plains it's going to bring some really cold temperatures to the deep south and really it's going to be very localized to the deep south watch this you see the cold kind of manifest out of the plains and we're looking specifically towards this green and blue color these are the anomalies here in terms of the chill really settling in to the deep south this is going to be friday and into saturday really friday for the weekend as this cold is happening we could have some stronger thunderstorms as well as this cold front slides through right on here into the deep south so we are going to keep a close eye on this going forward as well but again it's kind of weird because look at this where you see the browns and the reds everywhere this is where the temperatures are going to be above normal so the only spots way below is where it continues to rain in California. We're not seeing the sun. And then from this little mini blast of cold, kind of sliding down to the deep south, including 
the Florida Peninsula. And again, that hangs around through about Sunday. Quiet weather, but it's going to be cold. So here we go Saturday through parts of the Deep South. And again, it's definitely not as cold as the pre-Christmas Arctic blast that we all dealt with. But still, Nashville, North Central Tennessee, mid to upper 20s, down to the Gulf Coast. We're talking mid 30s and then down the Florida Peninsula back to the lower 40s. Now, I think it's going to get even colder as you wake up on Sunday. The iguanas will be falling from the trees again in South Florida. We're getting into the upper 30s and low 40s in Southwest Florida. And then again, 20s through most of Tennessee, North Carolina, right around the freezing mark in parts of Arkansas, just a tad warmer as you move into Louisiana. So again, it's a big time cold for the Deep South, but it's not enough to bring any kind of snow to the Deep South. Where we do have the moisture, unfortunately, is still back in California. So I'm going to take this back to where we stand. This is going to be through Wednesday afternoon. So we're going to go forward from this point. So take a mental picture of the colors on your screen. There's much more coming. And there are a couple of significant storms still to come for California. So what I want to do is I want to take this out through next Monday. We'll go for, through the weekend. So this is going to be through Sunday night. We're talking about an additional 6 to maybe even more than 12 inches of rain in Western California. A little bit lower amounts in South Central, more like 3 to 6 inches of rain. But on top of what has fallen and with the terrain, this is going to continue to be catastrophic. We at least have two more significant atmospheric river events coming by the end of this week and then over the weekend before we finally take a break and are allowed to dry things back out. In terms of the snow, forget it. I want to show you this. This is going to be now through uh, Wednesday morning. I'm kind of starting the forecast here from Wednesday and going on. Note that there's 30 inches. The highest amount in here is about 30 inches. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. But I want to show you, as we take this back out to that same time frame, through Sunday night, the max model here in this pink is maxing out at 100 inches. So again, just subtract at 30, because that's what's going to fall before Wednesday morning. You're still talking about an additional 90 inches of snow in the higher elevations of the Sierra Nevada mountains from Wednesday through Sunday night. So remember a week ago when there was that crazy system that was going to obliterate the Carolinas and Virginia and parts of the Deep South with heavy snow? That is it. I talked about pattern recognition and that it wasn't the right setup to get a good snowstorm in parts of the Deep South and into the Mid-Atlantic. And here we go. It happened the same kind of deal as the Christmas blizzard where it kind of wanted the storm way out over into the Atlantic to kind of blast the 95 corridor. But nope, Inland Runner, that's what we typically get with a La Nina pattern. Now, I do think we're going to have the opportunity here for some good snow Maybe into Michigan, maybe getting into the Chicago area. Still a little uncertain about that. But this system here, as it kind of strengthens, is going to pull back in that direction and move through the Great Lakes. So I think there's going to be some opportunity anyway for a little bit of colder air to change over to snow in places like Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Erie, Columbus. Again, nothing significant by any means. But certainly enough to get some festive flakes. I know we all want more in these spots. But nonetheless, this is also going to be what is responsible for delivering the cold that we were just talking about into the Deep South. There is your cold front. That's going to be as of Friday afternoon. And then all of that cold and all is relative because there's not a ton kind of breaks on through. Most of the cold continues to hang out kind of where it should be. In the Arctic, the official drought update is released every Thursday morning from the United States Department of Agriculture. So it's going to be interesting to see what it has in store for the West after all of this heavy rain this past week. Regardless of what it says, as we just showed you, more is on the way over the next at least 7 to 10 days before we finally quiet things down out West. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love talking and tracking weather, please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you in this weather community. We'll catch you next time.